Yeah, what's going on everybody? We are back. And I got some news for you guys. Your boy signed up for lift, run, shoot. You get to train, run, shoot. We get we get a whole bunch of free gear. It's just a, a whole crazy experience. Now, we gotta run a 10K. So, I'm about a week into running. Your boy's been running. As you guys know, I'm not a runner. I'm a bodybuilder. I pick things up, I put them down, and I flex. But your boy's been trying to get dialed. And our feet and our shins, Feel every fucking step we take. I my body is beat already, and I haven't ran that much. So today I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of like a full day of training. And we've been trying to shoot our bow more, get more dialed. You know, practice makes perfect. We might even just shoot in the backyard, or we'll go down the street and so we can get a little bit more distance. But I think we'll uh, we'll grab the target. We'll go down the street, and we're gonna get some shots in. This is quite the sight to see here. If I can hit a small target, big target should be easy. We don't have any hunts currently planned right now. Um, Cruz and I are trying to plan out an elk hunt. We need a couple things to fall in line, getting tags and whatnot. Um, and then we got the deer lease set up. We got the feeder out there, uh, cameras in there. We got a blind set up and some stands. We're just waiting on, you know, the animals to get used to it. We got some does that have already came in, but we obviously right now can't hunt them, so hoping some hawks come in. Fingers crossed. Eddie was like, damn, that's kind of far. And I was like, yeah, I'll start closer. And I was like, you know what? Why? We're at 50, 55 yards, first shot of the day. This will really tell us uh, where we're at. We got, let me not do it over my book, case. We got decent wind. At least it's coming kind of straight at us. Let's see how we shot. I think that was pretty fucking dialed. Definitely gonna move in. We're still in the circle. It's a good ass shot, bro. All y'all talking shit, man. Your boy been practicing. Told you. Dude, that's like infested with bunnies over here. And they don't care. The other day I was looking for my arrow. I lost two arrows over here the other day. And one just literally came out, like from me to the stream right here. It just ran by me like I didn't exist. But that's one shot. Let's see how we do. Let's we'll shoot some at 30. We'll shoot a group at 30, 40, 50, 60, maybe 70. I don't know. I'm I'm running out of arrows here. We're getting we're getting pretty low, so I got to be careful. A little slightly better. I don't know. Though we had one shot get away. I catch myself wanting to practice on the side of my house. I can shoot 30 yards because I don't get the wind fucking me up. But in reality, bro, you're out hunting. You won't have the wind. So we stack two. Which we're still to the right. I think that's from the wind blowing me and me overcorrecting. This is a bad shot. We would have got double long on both of these, though. Not good enough to back up. Is that how we should do it? Or should I just back up? I got to earn up. it. Just back up? Yeah. Why right. not? Shmoney. See how wonky that arrow flew? That was so fucked up. Were you waiting for the wind? Yeah, dude, I was getting fucked up. The hardest part, like, these arrows are pretty thin, so, like, the arrow, the wind's not gonna affect them too much, but when you have your ball in your hand and the wind's moving, and I'm, like, all over the place, that's a good fucking grouping. And I'm not trying to make excuses, but... I only have six arrows, six good arrows. And so I'm using three of them right now to shoot. And I have three that I haven't touched yet for hunting because if hawks start coming, I need, I don't have any extra arrows. So like, I'm kinda shit out of luck. Oh yeah, that's two in the center, baby. The one just outside. That's good shooting, time for fitty. That's a bad shot. Damn, same fucking spot. Both of these, I was trying to aim here and ended up there. And so I was like, okay, maybe it's the wind. So then I aimed here and shot right there, so. All right, Operation Money Back. Dude, what the fuck? It's not good. If these two arrows are good, though, I'll be happy. I'll just blame it on that, that arrow being fucked up. I 
think that arrow's just fucked up. I think that arrow's just fucked up if I didn't know you were there. <laughs> Ever good shots. I mean, to be fair, when I'm aiming this small, my pin probably covers up all of that. So, I'm happy with that. When do we stop? 60? Is it possible to go 70? I think we shoot like 100 something yards. I'm gonna lose my fucking arrows up if I do that. Yeah, let's just go to 70. Can't risk it. 75 is... Well, 78 is on top of that. We're at 60 now. I think the wind just picked up too, so... Not the move. Let's see, so all this practice. I spent all this money on the bow, but it ain't gonna make me good. Not I couldn't see it. I hit the top and it went over. Now we are slightly elevated. I know when I shot really high up, I had to shoot a little short. Um, we shot high. It hit the target, but it just like skinned the back. I hope it didn't fuck up my arrow. If it didn't, we gotta go to shields. Go to the left. That was the best shot. Well, let's go, uh, fingers crossed. My arrow's not destroyed. I don't know what happened for this to hit where it hit. But this is a shitty groupie. I mean, this might have killed it. This one was low. But with the, with the big broadhead, maybe would have got. I would definitely would have hit bottom of lungs. But I think we could do better. We're going to get our money back. High and to the left. I think I was low. Oh, fuck. That, that. Fucking hit my hand, too. I keep doing that, and I think it bumps the arrow. I shot over his back. Well, we might have just lost an arrow, so. That's not, not too good. We shot like shit, we're gonna shoot again. Not good. One last hurrah, and I ain't giving up. I got pressure, man. I got, Kids watching? I got four little humans watching me. <laughs> and I just lost my last arrow. Money. I think those are really close to each other. They're not the greatest shots. Up and down, pretty solid, a little to the left. Wind's kind of coming in. We both are in the same spot. Here we are outside. She said she was just gonna work out. We've been trying to run together, and then all of a sudden she was running with this little guy. <laughs> yeah, so now we're gonna run. Not mentally in it. Not physically in it, not nutritionally in it, but she's gonna thug it out. I didn't drink any water today. Don't worry about me. Okay, that's gonna go I had awesome. cereal for breakfast. Yeah, what? Cereal. Jeez. Breakfast of champions. Oh yeah, them Coco Chris. But Free run fuel. I might just go two miles straight. Okay. But is he I'll start with you. Duke will try to. <laughs> Ooh! Alright, halfway point. We feel probably four out of ten. Our calves are absolutely rocked. Cardiovascularly, cardio wise, we're getting a lot better. I am not as winded, but my body hurts. But we gotta rock out. A total of two and a quarter miles, plus a little sprint. Do my body. Cardio wise, chill. Dude, my fucking legs hurt so bad. That hurts to walk. You stretch, get some rise hydration in me. We're fixing up our post workout, or pre workout slash post run little meal. This right here is the hog that was shot in the, uh, I think it was a run and gun video. I don't know, this is Chris's hog. So we've had some of the, the breakfast stuff super good, but bacon wrap back strap. We're gonna throw it on the tray here, cook it nice and slow. I might turn the heat up. I don't know if I wanna wait for how long it's gonna take to cook. Fuck start it. And then good old fashioned rice cooker. And we got the little ones running around. Dude, I thought I didn't like this flavor, the lemon lime hydration. I don't know. It's just it's just hit different, bro. Like that lemon lime Gatorade and football, like the powder in the big jug. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. This shit's gas. 
Look at the beautiful smoke ring from the Traeger. First time trying some Wild Hog Backstrap. Oh my god. And you just had some. I don't like bacon really. And it looks. Oh, that's the bacon. Good. I haven't given her anything yet that she didn't like. It came out of the woods. That's really good. I'm gonna be honest. If we weren't filming a YouTube video, I probably would not work out for another like three to four hours. My body hurts. Alrighty. I don't even know what I'm gonna hit. I think I'm gonna hit back. But it's time to be great. Well, this is very much unlike me. I'm gonna blame it on the running. I forgot my gym bag entirely. We remember the nine or wallet or keys. Luckily, I got a pair of backup headphones in my truck. Otherwise, we'd be raw dog in the workout. It's only five minutes from my crib, so we'd be chilling. We're gonna warm up, I guess, and just fucking ain't nothing to it but to do it. I think we're gonna smash it back. So maybe just call it just some shit. I don't know. We'll see. I wish I had hit the button earlier. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck's going on over here, bro? Trying to take me out the game. Oh, that's heavy as shit. This shit goes up to 700 pounds. This shit's stupid. Who the hell is lat pulled out 700 pounds? What are you at right now? Fucking 200, 209, about my body weight. Bag. All right, that's kind of a wrap. My body hurts. I felt a little weak in the gym. I, I need to really hone in and add a little bit more structure to training, especially with running. Um, we're beat, but that's as far as us making a path to hybrid. We we did two 2.25 miles, and we didn't go super fast. I did sprint. I didn't run up the fucking street sprinting. So. I guess a little bit more fatigued, but if you guys have any running tips, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys are way more experienced when it comes to running than I am, because I really don't know anything, and I'm battling just thugging it out, and just like, I don't care, I'll like go through whatever pain, and, and actually being smart, because I'm a lot bigger than I used to be when I did run at one point, I ran during COVID, and like, my body is beat, but like, I'm hard-headed, I'll be like, well, it's just gonna suck, that's just what it is. Or I'll just try to go super hard and maybe that's not. So if you guys got any racks, I think I need some new running shoes. I put some miles on them shoes. So I think it's time for some new ones. But let me know what you guys think of this video. Um, obviously, we got a wide variety of stuff. And I hope you guys like it. I'm just showing you guys me. 
this is just my life and I'm bringing you guys along and hopefully you guys enjoy it and can draw some inspiration. I've had a couple guys say that they, they want to get a bow because of me and that shit's fucking fire. It's like the first time hearing someone say to me that like I'm the reason they got into working out. So that's super dope. As always, it's been real. It's been true. It's your boy Jay Lane. And go chase your motherfucking dreams. Thank <laughs> you.